Hi, it's James Harrison here to talk about the next Daily Drumming Influences Revisited, originally posted in 2012. Today it is Scott Rockenfield from the band Queensryche. Now, I became a fan of Queensryche early on through seeing some things on MTV, and it was just a little bit different than what I was hearing. I thought that it was, uh, I guess you could call it semi-progressive, but at the same time melodic and uh, not necessarily commercial, but leaning, they had a balance that was really there, and the drumming was great, and that was Scott Rockenfield. Um, to me, my favorite album by them is Empire, and I feel like he really shines on that. Um, I like the fact that it's not a concept album. I think the songs are great. I think that that's probably their most commercially successful album. A lot of hardcore fans are going to say Operation Mindcrime, which is a great album. It is a concept album. Um, I, I felt like Scott really shined on the Empire album. Uh, the drums, the mix of them, the playing, the choice of fills, everything was great on that. Uh, and uh, again, Operation Minecraft is probably my second favorite. I put both of those in the categories of perfect albums. Um, there's a live version of, uh, I think it's, I might even be called Operation Live Crime, I'm not sure, but it's Mind Crime Live. It's really, really good. So, uh, that was just one of those bands that, that to me hit on all cylinders and uh, found their own niche without being clumped together in with a lot of the pop metal bands or something like that. And the choice that he choices that he made drumming wise, I think were great. And uh, I became a huge fan and he became an influence. And I could listen to Empire every single day and never get tired of it. So the drumming influenced it today for today, very short and sweet, but great drummer, Scott Rockenfield of the band Queensbury.